Well, police and deputies are searching for a man tonight accused of threatening a young Venice boy with a knife today. SNN's Melissa Warren back from the search scene has more from our newsroom tonight. Melissa. A 12 year old boy was searching for his dog at around 930 this morning in a wooded area when he was approached by a man who threatened him with a knife, according to the boy. That report quickly sparked a search on the ground and in the air by Sarasota County Sheriff's Office. For about two hours after the 12 year old reported he'd been threatened by a man in the woods, deputies covered the area around the 2100 block of South Tamiami Trail searching for a man with a vague description. According to the boy, um, it was a black male about six feet tall, maybe 180 pounds in his late 40s or 50s. Um, he described him as wearing a torn white t-shirt and a knit wool cap, but other than that, we really don't have anything to go on. The small access road behind the Galleria Plaza was just one of several locations that deputies set up in search of that potential suspect here in the Woodmere neighborhood in Venice. And deputies set up a perimeter. We also had K-9 and Air 1 searching um, to try to locate this individual, and we did not find anyone matching that description. Although they had multiple deputies in the area, Rose says the sheriff's office didn't use the code red system to inform residents of the search because they felt there was not enough reason for alarm. Not necessary because until, you know, more facts are substantiated, there's no reason to alarm individuals. If you have a known suspect or, or, or more concrete information, someone's actually in danger, we might institute that system. Rose says there are known homeless camps in the area near the incident, but says none of those known to live in them match the description. And thankfully, Rose says the boy managed to make it home unharmed. All right, so I would imagine deputies want people to keep an eye out for this uh, man tonight. But as you said, the description is very vague. Yes, Rose says although the suspect description isn't very detailed, people should always keep an eye out and report anything they think may be suspicious in their neighborhoods. All right, Melissa, we'll check back later. Thank you.